welcome to Evan Said. I'm your host Evan Stallion, and uh, we have three main topics that we're gonna talk about today. The first one is Whitney Houston. As you guys probably already know, she passed away last week on February 11th. She was found dead on her uh, bathtub inside of her suite at Beverly Hills Hotel in Beverly Hills, California, and um, none. I mean, the police didn't find any cause of her death. Uh, even until today. All I want to say is basically uh, Whitney Houston is a very uh, big star and um, she have a very promising career that got screwed up because of love or um, whatever that blind love bullshit with this guy Bobby Brown. I think that guy is a complete jackass and trash. Uh, I don't care what other people out there will say like especially people who are a big fan of Bobby Brown. Uh, she just made uh, Whitney Houston's life and career, uh, she just he just destroyed it completely. All I could say is that Bobby Brown, he is 80% the cause of her failure. And um, I, I can't even imagine of being that person and still be in front of TV and anything. And uh, again, I, I'm just saying straight up right now, I don't really care about Bobby Brown's fans or anything because the truth of the matter is, yes, this guy is the cause of uh, Whitney Houston's destruction, you know, it, it, it's destruction of her life, her career, and everything that she had built since she was, you know, singing, since she was young. Anyways, um, her body was rested Sunday, February 19th at Newark, New Jersey, and uh, that's all I, I, I could say right now, it's just rest in peace, Whitney, and uh, uh, thank you for blessing us with uh, your music. <laughs> The second topic is technology and um, this is a very exciting thing because I'm a big Apple fan and Apple is uh, launching the OSX Mountain Lion this summer um, uh, that will have new features inspired by iPad. This Mountain Lion uh, operating system will uh, be able to connect your Mac to all your Apple devices. They will have a few uh, new applications. Um, uh, one of the things that I'm really excited about is their uh, reminder application. And again, you could share it with your iPad or you could share it with your iPhone and you could always just open the list on your phone. Another thing is on the OSX Mountain Line, there will have a new notification bar on the right side of the home screen. There's also a new feature which is the game center, but uh, I'm not really care I don't I don't really care about this game center application because if I want to play a game I will go to my PS3 and I will definitely have a better experience of it. But uh again, uh, OSX Mountain Lion uh, coming out this summer I think would be a great thing. <laughs> the final topic of today's episode which is on world news there's an innocent American imprisoned in Nicaragua since summer of 2011. And this person is a 34-year-old Jason Puracal. Uh, he is a former Peace Corps volunteer from Washington State that has been imprisoned for wrongfully committed of international drug trafficking, money laundering, and organized crime. But listen, this is the funny thing right now. There's no evidence that... Um, linked between this guy to 10 other people who are caught convicted of uh, doing all this wrong stuff and uh, one more thing is like there's no evidence of the actual drug it shows how crazy other countries are and they just put people in jail the way they want it no matter what well right now there's a growing number of defense attorneys investigators civil rights and human rights um, activists and lawmakers asking for the release of this guy and hopefully he'll be released soon because uh, he was in prison since summer 2011 that's a long time for something that uh, he did not do and you know we're talking about a jail or a prison uh, in another country Nicaragua I can't even imagine how bad that place is I mean jail in America is you know you don't want to go to jail in America and you definitely don't want to go to jail in other countries such as Latin America like Nicaragua or whatever other countries because they probably don't even feed you or I don't know what's going on there like Americans who go to Mexico you don't want to get in jail in Mexico even though the cops would just pull you over for no reason you know what their purpose of pulling you over they want some money from you 
But if you don't have money or you maybe you did something that pissed them off, they will throw you in jail. And trust me, you don't want to be in jail in Mexico. So that's it for today on I haven't said there's three main topics that I want to talk about. If you have any questions or concern, um, please feel free to ask me on the comment section below or on my Facebook, Twitter or Google+. And again guys, my name is Evan Stallion and you guys have a nice day and I'll see you tomorrow.